Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com in today's lesson of the day. In our last lesson we looked at how the Fed is expected to react at different points in the business cycle and what market movements can be expected as a result. In today's lesson we're going to look at how the Fed goes about signaling to the public changes in their thinking on monetary policy so we can begin to understand how the markets react not only to actual changes in the interest rates, uh, but also to anticipated changes. So let's get started. While we've simplified the situation in, under, in order to better understand the basics of how the Fed uses monetary policy, as you can probably tell by now, forecasting economic conditions and using monetary policy to try and manage those conditions is a very difficult process. Um, the members of the FOMC are constantly analyzing economic data from across the country to try and gauge where the economy is in the business cycle and what, if any, monetary policy action is needed. Um, as we've touched on in previous lessons, the FOMC has eight regularly, regularly scheduled meetings throughout the year uh, where they meet to discuss current economic conditions and expectations of future conditions. It's at these meetings that decisions on what, if any, changes in monetary policy need to be made. Uh, un upon completion of these meetings, a press release is issued, an example of which you can see at the link below if you're watching this video on informtrades.com or in the in description section if you're watching this video on YouTube. As we've learned in previous lessons, what the FOMC decides at these uh, meetings to do with their target for the Fed funds rate has wide ramifications for the economy and therefore the markets. With this in mind, the results of these meetings are closely followed by market participants. It's important to understand, however, that the market not only looks for whether or not the FOMC takes action on the Fed funds rate and by how much, but also for any clues on the, in the Fed statement as to what their bias may be for future in interest rate decisions. This is a very key point to understand because the markets are always trying to anticipate what is going to happen and therefore they move up and down depending on what people think will happen on, uh, to rates going forward. Anything that comes out from this meeting or anything else that is in line with uh, what the market expects should have little or no effect on market prices. Conversely, anything that comes out which changes the market's forecast uh, on what, if any, Fed action will be can cause drastic moves in the markets as participants react to this new information and markets adjust accordingly. The large volatility that can be caused when the market uh, participants are caught off guard by a change or lack thereof in the Fed funds rate uh, is not a desire, desirable outcome for anybody in the market, including the Federal Reserve. In order to try and prevent large moves which occur when the market is caught off guard, the Fed will always try to signal ahead of time what their stance is on interest rates, and more times than not, by the time the FOMC decision is released, the market has already priced in whatever action, if any, uh, will be taken on the Fed funds rate. Uh, the three main ways that the Fed will signal its intentions to the market are uh, the first being the release of the policy decision after the FOMC meeting. Uh, again here, uh, while the announcement of what if any change in the Fed funds rate, uh, uh, their target for the Fed's fund uh, rate will be, um, is obviously an important component of the release, just as and many times even more important or market moving is the accompanying statement which normally includes the Fed's bias uh, going forward. Uh, by reviewing the statement from the most recent FOMC meeting at the link that I've included below this video if you're watching it on Informed Trades or in the description section if you're watching it on YouTube.com, uh, you can see that the bias going forward in this particular announcement is, the, is for the Fed to reduce interest rates. 
Although they say that inflation needs to be monitored, they also say they expect it to moderate. Um, so this from the inflation side means that um, they aren't overly concerned with inflation or you know, expecting inflation to inhibit them from uh, being able to lower interest rates. Uh, in addition to this, they also come right out and say downside risks to growth remain and that they will act as needed to address those risks. Um, very aggressive comments um, that they're going to uh, to uh, potentially decrease rates. Uh, the second is the FOMC meeting minutes. Uh, the, uh, these are the notes or minutes uh, from the latest FOMC meeting, which are released three weeks after that meeting. These are much more detailed uh, or is a much more these this is a much more detailed account of what was discussed at the most recent FOMC meeting and market participants will pour over every word of this release looking for clues here as well as to future policy action. The third is public speeches. Voting members of the FOMC will give speeches periodically where they will discuss recent market events or economic events and sometimes signal potential changes in their bias. These speeches, especially when made by the chairman of the Federal Reserve, who's the Fed's main voice, will also be closely monitored by market participants as well. So any of these three things um, uh, the Fed will use to sort of uh, signal what they uh, p may potentially do with interest rates in the future. And there's lots of news sources out there, the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, Business Section, uh, Investors Business Daily, and, and most uh, you know sites that have any economic news, Yahoo Finance, and Etc., which will cover the release of the, the minutes and the um, obviously the interest rate announcements and the speeches that are important and, and, and normally have commentary, um, you know, relating to that. So, lastly, market participants will also closely monitor economic releases uh, for any signals that the economy may be growing more or less than the market is currently expecting or also the Fed is currently expecting, which also may change. Uh, and their their uh, their uh, current uh, view on mon where monetary policy should be. Okay, there are a few economic releases that are the most important and most market moving uh, in this regard, and that's going to be the topic of our next lesson. So we hope to see you then. As always, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and good luck with your trading.